What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the real life battery test results of Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus on One UI 3.1. We have already seen the test results of One UI 3.0 on this device. The results were pretty good and we were all quite happy with that. Now after One UI 3.1 update, I have got better news for you guys as far as the battery life is concerned. This is the Exynos variant I have here. I have got the One UI 3.1 update few days ago and it's running very smoothly. There has not been any issues so far. There is no heating issues or anything. It's going quite well. All right, now let's go to the battery test results. As usual, I have tested the battery in two different settings. The first setting was on WQHD Plus display. Power saving mode was turned off. Adaptive battery was on. Enhanced processing was off. Always on display off. Phone was on dark mode. In this scenario, I have got about eight hours of screen on time, which is just fantastic. This is definitely a battery monster. And this is definitely an improvement over the battery test results of One UI 3.0 on Note 10 Plus. As you can see here, the YouTube was used for about three hours, 15 minutes. Call of Duty for almost half an hour. Camera was for about 15 minutes. I have done some video recording. Google Play services consumes a lot of battery these days. It has consumed about 4.3%. I've done some calling for about an hour or so, then WhatsApp for about 20 minutes and many other applications. This screen on time of about 8 hours 5 minutes with 6% battery left is just fantastic on this device and this is on WQHD without turning on the power saving mode. And just imagine the screen on time that you're going to get if you turn on the power saving mode and use this phone on full HD display. Now that is the result I'm going to show you in a minute. Before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel and if you love contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches and Android applications, consider subscribing and do smash that like button if you find this video useful. Now going to the next settings, here I have turned on power saving mode, the phone was running on full HD display and rest of the settings were similar like the dark mode was on, always on display was turned off, adaptive battery was on, enhanced processing was turned off, etc. Now on this settings, I have got about 11 hours of screen on time with 6% battery left. This is just insane battery life on this phone and this is definitely extraordinary device which can give you such screen on time. It easily lasts for more than about one and a half days, not just in power saving mode, even on Quad HD display it can last up to about one and a half days. And during this test, I tried a lot to kill the battery within a day's time, which was kind of really hard to do that. So definitely there is an improvement in the battery performance on One UI 3.1 compared to One UI 3.0. And in this case, I did not format the phone after the update. So without formatting it, we could make out the difference in the screen on time compared to the previous iteration of One UI. That's about it. I'm sure you guys will be happy to know this and I'm sure you would have gotten the similar screen on time. Do share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know your screen on time in the comment section so that the community can get benefited. If you haven't received One UI 3.1 update yet, wait for it patiently. Definitely you're going to get it. Make sure you manually check it in the settings menu. That's all I have here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and do smash that like button. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.